Alrighty, for our $50 February 2023, our first night, we made vegetable soup, which is squash and carrots and onions, and then he used a beef base to start the liquids. It's called Forever Soup, because it's like the pot that rarely empties all the way, and the ingredients in the liquids are replenished as necessary. But it could also be called a perpetual soup or a hunter's stew or a hunter's soup. So we're on day two. So today we're going to start the beef that we got on sale um, in the early part of the year. And we had four bags of these. So today we're going to take half of this bag and we're going to brown it in our big forever pot stew pot. I'm going to brown that up. And then probably add some more fresh onions. And then we're going to add last night's soup to the big pot. And then we'll keep this big pot going probably for a couple weeks. And tonight when our stew's done, we'll show you the whole process. At the very end, we'll put it in the refrigerator and then pop it back out in the morning. Heat it up and keep it on low all day long. That way there's anybody comes over, there's always going to be a hot bowl of soup. And it's cold out, so that works out great. So we're gonna cut up some veggies and brown the meat and get this going. All right, John made some chicken fat. So we're just put a tablespoon of that in the big pot. All right, got the beef out. He, he went ahead and made that whole package. That's Camino. Oregano. Stir around for a little. Alright, now we're adding our vegetable soup. To our new stock. Look at that. Now he's adding some beef base. And he's going to be adding some garlic, some of my habanero powder, my homemade paprika, Worcestershire, and he already added some beef base. All right, I'm going to turn this on medium low and cover it for two hours. And then we'll add our potatoes and our squash. These are the squash that we froze and they're thawed out now. And these are our potatoes that we grew and we had covered up and we already peeled them and I got them soaking in some water. All right, now we're going to add our potatoes and our squash. And turn it up a little bit and let it simmer maybe an hour. All right, and this is forever soup. And he put a lot of meat in there, so this is going to last us probably a few days. And then we can add some squash or sweet potatoes or cabbage and just keep this soup going. We're having beef stew tonight, and I made some dinner rolls. Yum. All right, we are on day four of our forever soup. And now we're gonna add some chicken and some cabbage and onion and celery and spices. And towards the middle of the month, I'm gonna show you all my grocery store list. My limit is $75 because we have three adults living here. So we added 25 for my son. And then I'll show you exactly what we spent on protein for this month. pepper garlic and pepper now we're gonna stir it up a 
let this simmer for how long? An hour, yeah. hour and a half, maybe. And then he's got the chicken skins over here rendering. Alrighty, we got the soup going. I got all the chicken off the bones. This is gonna be really good. I wish I had sausage. I'll put some sausage in there. And the cabbage I got from an exchange I made, which will probably be in my next video. This looks really good. Alright, this is my beautiful sandwich bread. I've been making sandwich bread every two days for our sandwiches. And I've also been making fresh tortillas and fresh corn tortillas. And I also made a no-knead bread. This is saving us so much money not buying bread. But I'm going to cut this open when it cools off to show you what it looks like. We cut open our first butternut squash from our garden. Beautiful. We have like 10 butternut squashes for this challenge. All right, we're back with our forever soup. Today I'm gonna add some butternut squash and some onions. This soup is just getting better and better. And then we got deer sausage from Alice. We cut a pound of that up. Thank you, Alice. And then here I have um, habanero powder, sage, garlic, salt, pepper. And I made that sage from my plant. It's beautiful. It's powdery. Never done that. All right, I'm going to stir this up. It almost looks like a gumbo. We've been doing this for seven days. And that lunch, we'll pull some of the protein out and put it in homemade tortillas that I've learned to make. Or corn tortillas. I'm just going to give you weekly updates of how my forever soup's going. So you think about it. I got chicken in there, roast beef in there, and I got sausage in there. We got sweet potatoes in there. We got regular potatoes in there. We got onions whole bunch of carrots um, on day four I think we added cabbage and more onions so this soup just keeps going and I don't need to add any more broth it looks good on the broth I'm gonna let this simmer and I've been making homemade bread I can't believe the things I've been doing but this has been fun Oh, it's hot. 